21 verse 13 Psalm number 21 verse 13 Be exalted in your strength Lord we will sing and praise your might Let me read one more scripture Psalm number 104 verse 23 I will sing to the Lord all my life 
I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Through this scripture, may God bless us. Let's continue to sing above all power. Fast love.
Dear God, Heavenly Father, thank you and praise you for this beautiful moment that we can praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we can say that this beautiful time that you have given us. Thank you for blessing us each and every moment, O oh Lord. Lord, I commit into your mighty hand for each one of us to be present here. Bless us, Lord. I commit into your mighty hand, Lord. Today we are gathered here to praise you. I hope that you bless us, O oh Lord. Lord, now we are going to listen from your word. I commit into your mighty hand for each one of us. Help us and guide us so that we can be able to receive and we can be able to apply for our daily life, Lord. I commit into your mighty hand, your servant, Lord. Lord, I commit into your mighty hand for me, for each and every one of us who are going to listen to your word. I commit into your mighty hand, Lord. I pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I thank God for this wonderful opportunity that God has given me. And secondly, I like to thank for the concern authority for this wonderful opportunity that you given to me to share the morning from God's Word. So, today I'd like to share from the book of Psalm. Before I begin my sharing, let's look to the Lord and pray. Dear God, we thank you and we love you for this wonderful morning that you have given to us. Lord, help us to know you more and more, Lord Father. Lord, as we open and look thy words, Lord Father, your God who can speak to us. Speak to us so that we may Understand thy words and apply in our life, Lord. We thank you and we love you. We commit ourselves to your We ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, I'd like to speak on the topic of God separated godly for himself. God separated godly from for himself. Psalm number 4, verse 3. Psalm number 4, verse 3. It says here, but now the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly, the Lord will hear when I call to him. So when we see in this psalm, because we have seen that the psalm is written by David, so in the midst of difficulties that David says that God hears when he calls. And moreover, in Psalm number 4, here we see that David is writing that the peoples were facing a problems of worshipping idols and going away from the presence of the Lord. So David wrote that knowing and understanding that God separated for himself a godly people. So from today, uh, today I would like to talk that from a sudden Persons from the Bible about a godly Christian law. So, first of all, let us see from the life of Daniel. Under my topic, the first point is a godly man will reject the provisions of the world. A godly man, man will reject the provisions of the world. So when we look into the life of Daniel, Daniel chapter 1 verse 3 to 8, that we have since there that a king commands to, you know, to bring a certain people of Judah or Israelite so that they will train in the language and they will train in the literature of Chaldean so that they will serve in the king's palace. So, and moreover, the king command that a good, fine-looking, a young man should be brought to be trained. So, Daniel also one of among them that the Enoch had chosen for a king to serve in king palace. So, when we see Daniel chapter one verse three to eight, we have since there that the story of Daniel that how he refuse the provisions of the king. So when we see in <clears throat> that portions, the king offered for those who are training in his palace 
to serve in his palace, he offered a delicious food and drink. So Daniel says in verse 8 of Daniel chapter 1, it says, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he will not defile himself. While the portions of the king delicious, not with the wine which he drank, therefore he requested a chip of the Eno that he may not defile himself. So the provision, the king offered a provision to these uh, young people that as they learned the language, as they learned the literature, that they were provided a provision that is eat by king. But Daniel refused to take the provisions of the king. The reason is that Daniel knew that it is against to God's will. Daniel knew that when he take the portions of the king food, it is going to defile the God of Israel. So he purposed in his heart that not to take the provisions of the king. The reason is the that food is the food that is served in the king table. It is first of all, first of all offered to the idols, and after that they have food and offered to the king too. So Daniel knows from very young that those pagan people who worship the pagan god and who who those who worship pagan god and the king foods are offered first to a pagan god and rather is cook and serve the king so that knows that it is going to defile by eating the food because in the law of Moses they were not allowed to eat that is food offered to idols so Daniel knew and purpose in her that not to defile the not to defile God so Daniel chose rather than a human he chose God to obey because he he has two options here offend the leader or to offend the king or to defile God so Daniel purpose in her that to serve for God not to defile God but rather to stand for the truth not to compromise with the word of God so as a Christian we we say that we are a godly man we say that we are a child of God are we accepting the provisions of the world are we going along with the system of the world are we walking with the world system when the world offers something that is going to defile the name of God, are we taking it or are we rejecting that provision? A godly man will reject the provisions of the world. As Daniel have rejected the provisions of the king, delicious food, because he knows that that is going to defile the name of God. And second, I like to talk under my topic is a godly man will reject the passion of this world. A godly man will reject the passion of this world. When we <coughs> see in the, in the book of Genesis 39 verse 5 to 9, there we have that jo Joseph, the life of Joseph, we have seen the life of Joseph that he was uh, he was tempted by wife of Pharaoh. So when we read verse 5 to 9, it says here, So it was from the time that he had met him, overseer of his house, and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for Jacob's sake, as Joseph's sake, and he and the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he had. Now Joseph was handsome in form of appearance, and it came to pass after these things that his master wife cast longing eye on Joseph. 
and she said to lie with me, but he refused and said to his master wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me. In this, in those, not know what is with me in this house, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, not as he keep back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sins against God? So, a godly man will reject the patience of this world. When we see the life of Joseph, here we see the Potiphar wife told him to lie with him. It is the patience that comes in his life. But Joseph knew very well about God. That's why he said in verse 9, There is no one greater in this house than I, not as he keep back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How can I do this great wickedness and sins against God? Whether he faced the patience, but still Joseph was reminded by the word of God that this, the patience that arose in his life is going to sin against God. So he knows that he is going to make the name of God a sin by accepting the patience that comes from the world. So how do you and I refuse or how do you and I take the patience of this world? If you and I are in the condition of Joseph, how will we be reacting on that very time? Are we going to reject? Like Joseph says, how can I do this great sins against God? Are you, are you and I are going to say in this way or are you and I are going to accept the proposal that comes from the world, accept the patience that arose from the world. So you and I need to understand that as we are a child of God, that as we call that we are a sons and daughter in Christ, so the world give patience, but we need to understand that the patience should be rejected if it is against God's will. Thirdly, a godly man will reject the portion of this world. A godly man will reject the portion of this world. When we look in the life of Moses, he was brought up in King Palace in Egypt. He was right, raised up with a Pharaoh daughter. But when we look into the book of Hebrew, Chapter 11, verse 24 to 26, it says like this, But by faith Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the sons of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasure of sins, esteeming the approach of Christ greater than riches, than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. So, a godly man will reject the persons of this world. So, as we know that the life of Moses was very luxurious, he grew up in the king palace, and in verse 26, if we read, estimating the efforts of Christ greater than riches and the treasures in Egypt. The persons, if he continue to live in the palace, everything is belongs to him. Every treasure that is in the palace is going to be for him. But he knows that knowing the fact that he chose to suffer with the people of God because he knows that the God is going to reward him. The, the persons that he received on this earth is not going to be lost. He knew that. That's why he rejected the persons that offered by the world and he chose to rather to suffer with the people of God. So as you and I are as you and I are called a child of God, are we able to reject the persons of the world when it is against to 
will of God. So, the world that we live now is very corrupted, is very wicked, and the world that we live now it is very advanced in technologies, advanced in many, many realms. So, the, we are now very difficult to live on this earth. So, in the midst of this wicked world, God has chosen you and I as a godly one. As we have seen in Psalm 4 3, that God separated for Himself a godly. You and I are separated by God when we believe into His name. You and I are separated by God to reach out to the world. When God has separated you and I, are we able to say that we can reject the provisions of this world? Are we able to say that we can reject the patients that arose from this world? Are we able to say that we can forsake the portions of this world? We are a godly man and woman. So for a godly man and woman, first thing is that we need to reject the provisions of this world. As we have seen from the life of Daniel, Daniel had purpose in his heart that not to defile the provisions of the king. Because he knew that by taking that, he is going to sin against God. As we live on this wicked world, are you and I are able to reject the provisions of this world? Number two, a godly man and woman should reject the patience of this world. Nowadays, in this world, the patience that arose to a young people is a sexual. Are you and I are able to avoid that the patience that comes around us? Are you and I able to reject the patience of this world? That is sex. The patience that fall in the life of Joseph. Joseph could overcome the sexual or the patience that arose from the world because he knew that the God whom he served is worthy to be worshipped. He knew that it is going to defile by committing sins against God. He knows that by lying with father wife or forty four wife that by lying with forty four wife that it is going to be sins. So he knew because he have kept the word of God in his heart. And third, a godly man and woman should reject the portion of this world. Like we have seen in Moses' life, that if he could be in Egypt, then everything is belongs to him. But he for a second he knew that it is for a temporary and that he knew that by suffering along with the godly people or suffering along with a so-called his fellow people, people of God, it is going to be rewarded. And that is more greater than the receiving provisions of this world. When somebody offers you and I a positions of this world that is not going to be benefit in the ministry of God, are you and I going to reject and or accept? So what I want to increase today is that as we live in this world, let us understand the purpose of God. Let us know that for what for what purpose did God have separated from this wicked world, you and I. So by knowing the purpose that God has separated you and I, we should live according to that. As Daniel knew God. As Joseph knew God and Moses knew God. As we have meditated the word, as we have read and ponder on his word, that we also need to be overcome the situations that arose in our life. So we need to reject the provisions of this world. We need to reject the patience of this world. We need to reject the portions of this world. As we are separated by God, to walk and to live for Him. 
So may God bless you and use you in the days to come. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you and we love you for this wonderful hour that you have given to us in spite of our fellow. Lord, as we have many that the word, Lord, help us to know you more and more to understand that word. Lord, we pray that, Lord, speak to us. Lord, as we live in this wicked world, Lord, give us a understanding of thy word so that we will understand of thy word and live according to their Lord. We thank you and we love you for your faithfulness in our life in spite of our unfaithfulness, Lord. And allow us to live according to thy will and purpose. Knowing the purpose that, Lord, will you set us to live for you, Lord. And we think ourselves and the person of us we have discussed in too many, we ask to pray in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.